All right, I'm in the mood to make another video. Don't know why, but um, I've literally got nothing else to do today. I had initially been like assigned to work um, all day today and tomorrow, but I went in today and they were like, hey dude, if you wanna go, you can go. And I was like, so I've been uh, spending all day getting all of my music back onto this uh, new laptop uh, because I had so much shit. I just wanted to add that I, have had on CD that I haven't been able to put on my iPod because I haven't had a laptop because uh, I still do that. So I've been bored out of my fucking mind. It's around three o'clock now, so I've literally done nothing all goddamn day. But I wanted to make a video and I kind of wanted to make like a video around like a specific uh, sort of criteria, I guess. So we're gonna be talking about a bunch of splits today. Um, and I guess they're not all splits. Uh, one of them, I think just one of them is a compilation. Um, but, you know, it's a sort of release with a bunch of bands involved, so I'm counting it. But before we get into it, I want to show you something cool. So I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but one of the other things I like collecting, apart from music, is dead shit. And I've kind of shown some of it here before, uh, but not all of it. And uh, this is the newest thing that I got, and this is one of the coolest things I own. So this is a fetal pig, and fetal pigs are pretty easy to come by in um, most cases, so it's, you know, that doesn't really make it extra cool, though it would be on its own, but this one is actually deformed. If you look at its face, it's totally missing its snout. Um, it's also missing one of its ears, but I don't know if that was, uh, the ear was just kind of removed at some point. Her fingers are kind of bent um, upwards too, which I, I don't know if that uh, has anything to do with the deformity. But um, the, main, the main thing here is that she's missing her snout. So I did a little bit of research, and from what I found, it's a pretty rare genetic thing, but it can also be a, a cause of like poor air quality in the area where the mother lived. I mean, I also found that normally it's not missing its snout, but the snout is growing like into its mouth, uh, which is, is fucking cool. So it's pretty big, and I, I just, I fucking love shit like this, man. Awesome. All right, next order of business. Here's what we're listening to. Death in June, but what ends when the symbols shatter? Uh, been hoping for an LP repress of this one forever, and it just doesn't seem to be happening, so I got the tape sometime last year. Uh, this is probably my favorite Death in June album. Love it. All right, we're going to start off with possibly my favorite thing here. This is the Cosmic Church split with Corez. Uh, entitled Lucifer Returns to Heaven. So this came out in 2017, I think it was, initially just on CD, and there was a long wait in between the CD press and the LP press of this one. But last year, late last year, Final Agony had released a sort of uh, a batch of releases, um, including that Terror Nox Ferreter and Circle of Arbros and the Cenotaph split with Circle of Arbros alongside this. And for me, this was the one that I was really, really sort of waiting on. Uh, and I, honestly, I kind of thought that it was gonna sell out really quickly. So I was keeping an eye on the page and shit. I mean, you can still get this relatively easily. But even at the time uh, when this came out, everyone knew that this was going to be the second to final uh, Cosmic Church release before the final full length album. We're definitely all familiar with Cosmic Church, but if you haven't heard Carez, um, honestly, it's kind of pretty similar to Cosmic Church in most ways. Uh, on this release specifically, uh, I would say the production on the uh, Caress side is uh, quite a bit better sounding. Uh, it's a little bit louder. But both of these bands are pretty unique in, in the sense that they both have this sort of bright, uplifting sound to their music. And that's a good thing. I love shit like that. Um, even vocally, I would say these bands are pretty similar. I think Cosmic Church might be a little bit more atmospheric, but for the most part, I mean, they, they really kind of are two sides of the same coin. I don't remember the guy's name, but the guy who does the art for pretty much all the Carez stuff also did the art for this, which you can tell. Um, also, I've been hoping that new Carez full length album would have hit a, a, a United States distro, but I just haven't seen it happen, which is a huge bummer because I know how good it is and I kept waiting for it and I think it's sold out. There's the back cover right there. Uh, I honestly don't think either of the band names are on this release anywhere. You got an inner sheet with more of this style of art and the backside with all the lyrics. Uh, it, these aren't separated. Each band has two songs, Lucifer Returns to Heaven uh, Part 1 and 2. Uh, and those are all the lyrics right there. So I don't really know how it's divided. Um, but, you know, maybe somebody can provide a little insight there. And also, I was wrong. It does actually say the names of the bands. 
right down here. Cool. And the vinyl itself is black. Uh, I think this is the Cosmic Church side right here. And that's the other side, very nice. This is a necessary part in the sort of a quest I'm on to collect all the Cosmic Church shit. Um, I think I'm still missing the uh, one-off split with Blood Red Fog and the split with Circle of Arbros, but I think that's it. Uh, awesome, fantastic release. You all know it, Cosmic Church, Karez, Lucifer Returns to Heaven. All right, normally I kind of have like an order picked out when I start one of these videos, and this one I did not. Uh, so we're just gonna do this one next. This is Abhorrent Desecration. It is a three-way split between Black Witchery, Possession, and Nyoctobliz. So I bought this right when it came out, and around that time I was head over heels for uh, like live records. I have to be in a specific mood to want to listen to any of these three bands, but I own sort of individual releases from each one of these, so it was a cool, uh, just addition to the collection. Um, so this is a triple gatefold. It folds out like this. You got the Nyagte Blizz art right there, the Possession art, and of course Black Witchery. And on the other side you have uh, pictures of each one of the bands playing live, which is really cool. Um, I think you can get this relatively easy still. Uh, I, I doubt it's sold out or anything like that. But it is really nice quality as most things that come out through Iron Bonehead are. This is a triple LP. I don't know if limitations were specified anywhere at any point. I don't think so. Uh, but they are all on red vinyl. Um, you know, uh, and each band has like its own LP. So this just so happens to be the Black Witchery LP here. And it also comes with a poster. Uh, don't much like the poster, but uh, it's cool anyways. So from what I understand, um, this was recorded in Belgium on the last day of a tour. You can kind of probably tell without even hearing this which band just sort of has like the nicest sound um, in terms of just listenability. Uh, I would say Possession side sounds uh, the best, while Nyoctobliss' side uh, sounds the roughest, but that's just, I think that's more just their music. Um, because the audio recording itself is pretty nice. And one of the other things I read in here, it says recorded, mixed, and mastered by Fograth, uh, which is the guy from Enthroned, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, I've had this thing for probably a year, just like the other one. So, uh, I've been, you know, I've been kind of saving it, wanting to show it in like a split video. So, that's what this is. Very cool. Black Witchery, Possession, Octobliz, Abhorrent Desecration. <laughs> Next up here, this is like probably in contention uh, with my favorite thing I'll talk about here today. This is the Drowning Light split with vampiric blood entitled Drowning in the Vampiric Sacrament of the Immortals. This initially came out, I think on Dark Adversary in 2012, and this was a uh, vampiric blood's first split. And I kind of fucked up with this one, and I'm lucky I didn't just miss it outright, uh, because when this initially got put up for sale, it was put up uh, through a merchant of death. And my dumbass decided to just wait. I just wanted to wait it out uh, for like a US distro to get copies of it so I could just buy it from the States instead of from, uh, from Germany. And uh, after a couple months of waiting, I decided to go on merchant of death um, just to see if they still had them for sale. And it said Merchant of Death exclusive. So the states were never going to get copies. So I bit the bullet and just bought one from there. It's not like it's much more expensive or the wait time is much longer. So this is limited to 200 copies, 200 copies on black vinyl, which is what I have. Uh, and there was 100 on red. So down here at the bottom, it says limited to 300 copies. There's the back cover right there, by the way. And something about both these bands that's absolutely not specific to this release is that both of these bands are probably two of the best in terms of hiding really nice melody inside a very lo-fi black metal. And I would say that of the two sides on here, the vampiric blood side is probably my favorite because the synth work, man, just pushes it over the top in terms of just being really fucking good. And uh, this was put out, like I said, in 2012, which is the same year that Ordo Dracul came out. Uh, so I assume this was recorded around the same time, so it is the same sort of sound as Ordo Dracul. But it, it doesn't come with anything. Like I said, it's just black vinyl. I'll show you the labels. 
uh, because they're quite cool. Uh, there's the guy from Vampiric Blood right there. And then, of course, you got Asgore from Drowning the Light. Very nice. Yeah, really not much to say. You guys know both of these bands, surely. So, uh, I just kind of wanted to show it and talk about it for a second because it's a great fucking split. Probably one of my favorite splits. So, check it out if you haven't heard it. Drowning the Light, Vampiric Blood, Drowning in the Vampiric Sacrament of the Immortals. Here's the one compilation that I'd kind of mentioned earlier. This is Suomesta Satanale, um, which from what I understand is something like uh, From Finland to Satan or something like that. This is a compilation that originally came out in 2008. Um, and this is on Northern Sky Productions, limited to 300 copies. Um, and basically what this is, is just a, a compilation of different styles of Finnish black metal. Each band has one song. I'll list off the bands for you. Uh, Famulus Ab Satanus. Um, the guy who did vocals on that is the guy who now does vocals for Sargeis and he's in Desolate Shrine and shit. Blood Red Fog. Valon Surma. Uh, Kares, again, Arvet, Cosmic Church, again, Hammer, and Vritra. But for me, the reason I like this so much is kind of just the different styles here. For example, Blood Red Fog plays a very riffy style of black metal, while Cosmic Church is much more atmospheric. The band Val and Surma is a lot more raw, while the band Arvet is sort of like slower and hypnotic. So you get it, there's just different styles here, and I, I love that, I think it's really cool. Um, I got this through Nuclear War Now last year, and uh, I think they still have copies, and I would recommend picking it up because it's really fucking good stuff. Um, there's a back cover right there. What other than black vinyl would even make sense, really? It comes with this little sheet. It's got like a, a hateful little paragraph on the back here. And on this side, you have all the band logos and the lyrics, which is cool. Yeah, man, good stuff. I like it. I like all the bands on here. I don't know that I have a favorite um, Blood Red Fog is probably up there, honestly. Um, of course, I'm a sucker for Cosmic Church. I don't know. It's all good shit. You gotta be interested in this one. Uh, Suomesta Satanali. Alright, we're gonna end this with a very classic split. This is a tribute to the Black Emperors. Uh, the mayhem split with morbid. Now, first and foremost, whoever decided to print this big, ugly, oval herpes sore right on the cover of this record should be fucking eviscerated. What an awful fucking decision. But it says exclusively distributed by Warmaster Records under license from Land of the Rising Sun Records, Japan. Um, from what I remember, Land of the Rising Sun Records was like not a real label or something like that. Uh, but this was originally uh, released in 1994, I think. Uh, there's the back cover right there. Of course, you just have the fucking famous pictures. Um, you have a bunch of information here, kind of about, um, like, the Morbid December Moon album. And then you have a bit of the information about the murder and suicide and whatever the fuck. So, yeah, you guys fucking know all about that shit. But, of course, you got Dead Neuronymous on the front cover here. Um... And Dead does do the vocals for three of these um, Mayhem songs. And I think Maniac does the vocals on Necrolust. But then you have four songs from Morbid. And I think all four of those songs are, in fact, on December Moon. Um, and the song Carnage from Pure Fucking Armageddon is also on here, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was really never going to have a, another time to talk about this. Uh, because there's really not much to say. You guys have all fucking heard it. So I really don't need to go through it. Um... Yep, Euronymous, dead on the labels, really nice, very cool. But it's just kind of a, a classic split, so I thought it would be cool to, to just sort of show off. Uh, yeah, I like it. You guys probably all have it. Again, fuck the guy who put this oval on the cover. Mayhem, split with Morbid, tribute to the Black Emperor. And that's it. Um, there's five splits for you. Well, four splits, a compilation, whatever. This is like the third video I've made in five days, so uh, I'll probably have this edited today, uploaded, like uh, unlisted. I have another video already ready to go. Uh, I just posted the Catholic Habitation video yesterday. 
So, yeah, I'm stacked, boy. Anyway, uh, thanks for sticking through this one. Hopefully you guys found something new. Uh, probably not, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we'll be back soon. I'll put uh, another little stack together, and we'll do this again before, uh, before too long. So, yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. Talk soon. Later. Get me out, get me out,